the sprawling cosmos of anime, there are battles that leave you gasping for breath, your pulse racing like a Lamborghini at the Autobahn. But then there are those battles that leave you scratching your head, wondering what the hell the writers were thinking. What the hell were you thinking? Today we're diving headfirst into the latter, dissecting the showdown between Buddha and Zero Fuku in the anime Record of Ragnarok. The Buddha Zero Fuku face off is a visual feast, no doubt about it, but when it comes to narrative, it's as satisfying as a diet soda. All fizz, no substance. Instead of pushing the boundaries and challenging our perspectives, it sticks to the status quo like a barnacle on a ship's hull. You see, in the record of Ragnarok universe, Buddha is like the golden boy, the star quarterback, the prom king. He can do no wrong, but let's hit the brakes here. Is that fair? Is it right to put a character like that on a pedestal without giving his actions the third degree? Buddha is a global icon for peace and enlightenment in a kingdom where slavery is as common as bad weather in London, yet he does nothing to change this. His glaring contradiction between his reputation and his actions is a narrative misstep you just can't ignore. Now let's take a moment to compare these anime characters to their real life counterparts. The Buddha of history was a spiritual rock star who taught the path of enlightenment. It was all about peace, compassion, and nixing suffering. But the Buddha in Record of Ragnarok is a different beast. He's got the charisma and the spiritual vibe, but his inaction in the face of injustice is a far cry from the historical figure we know. So Zero Fuku is a cocktail of various mythologies. He's an embodiment of despair, hatred, and suffering. There's no actual direct historical counterpart to Zero Fuku, but his character serves as a foil to Buddha, highlighting the difference between hope and despair, peace and chaos, love and hatred. But let's for a second broaden the scope and look at the characters in the series. Record Ragnarok is a veritable smorgasbord of historical and mythological figures, each with their own unique spin. For instance, Thor, the Norse god of thunder, is depicted as a warrior with an insatiable thirst for battle. In stark contrast to this is the more jovial depiction in other media, such as Lu Bu, a figure in Chinese history renowned for his martial prowess, is portrayed with a sense of humor and loyalty that adds depth to his character. These characters like Buddha and Zero Fuku are reinterpretations of historical figures and mythological figures, but they're not without their own set of contradictions and complexities. They serve as a reminder that Record of Ragnarok is a series isn't afraid to play with your expectations to challenge your preconceived notions about these well-known figures. Now let's compare this with other fights in the series. The battles that leave a mark are those that challenge the fighter's beliefs. They're not about who can just throw the hardest punch, but about the ideological clashes. These battles are often the ones that make you think, make you question, make you feel. Take the Thor vs. Lubu fight, for instance. It wasn't just a battle of gods, but a battle of ideologies. It made you question the nature of strength, power, and honor. It was a battle that stayed with you, like a catchy tune you can't get out of your head. In short, the battle of Buddha versus Zero Fuku, the fight for Record of Ragnarok, is a missed opportunity, in my opinion. It could have been a platform for challenging norms, sparking a debate, for pushing the envelope, but instead, it's just glorifying a character without questioning his actions or beliefs. It's a spectacle for sure, but it leaves you wanting more craving the depth, complexity, and nuance that we've seen before in Record of Ragnarok. So the next time you're watching an anime battle, ask yourself, is this just a fight or is it a conversation? Because the best battles are the ones that make you think, that challenge you, that force you to question your beliefs. The best battles, of course, are the ones that stick with you long after the credits have rolled. So what do you think of this fight between Buddha and Zero Fuku? Let me know down in the comments.